Airport is the only safe way out of Afghanistan, and today there was nearly a run on it. Afghans who could get visas rushed to foreign countries. For the United States, the airport is the staging ground to evacuate U.S. Embassy personnel. Helicopters and airplanes circled over Kabul, shuttling between the embassy, where sensitive documents were burned, and the airport as the Taliban closed in. The militants had already taken every city except Kabul, mostly without fighting. U.S. trained and equipped Afghan soldiers just melted away. By early afternoon, the Taliban's advance got even stronger. They broke into Kabul's main jail, freed thousands of prisoners, and instantly added them to their ranks. Afghans saw what was coming. The American evacuation does not apply to the vast majority of Afghan citizens. I went to an office in a shopping mall packed with Afghans struggling to fill out the State Department's webpage for visa requests. Most people here worked for the U.S. military in minor roles, like cooks, cleaners, and guards. Afghans swarmed around me, thinking that, as an American, perhaps I could help. They showed me documents proving their employment history. So everyone showed up with their ID cards, pictures of their phone, other IDs, recommendation letters, employment contracts, and they're hoping that all this paperwork will be enough to get them a visa immediately so they can get out of this country. Others came here because they're terrified of the Taliban and didn't know where else to go. She doesn't have any connection to the U.S. She's just here out of desperation. She's saying, please, do something. Take my son. They were right to be worried. By late afternoon, the Taliban made a brief incursion into Kabul, probing. They met no resistance. Kabul would be a walkover. Just hours later, seeing the writing on the wall and likely saving his life, President Ashraf Ghani escaped the country. It was game over. Kabul is falling now. We've just left our office, our longtime home in Afghanistan, and we're heading to a safer location, what we hope will be a safer location. Already we've seen some gunmen who look like Taliban on the streets, and all of the government checkpoints, all the police, all the soldiers, they're gone. It was done. After 20 years, the Taliban took Kabul and Afghanistan almost effortlessly. By nightfall, the Taliban seized the presidential palace. Al Jazeera broadcast pictures of them inside Afghanistan's equivalent of the Oval Office. While the United States scrambled to evacuate, an inglorious end to a 20-year war. The evacuation of Americans is continuing tonight, but it has been interrupted by sporadic gunfire, the embassy telling Americans to shelter in place. So it seems the Taliban do want the U.S. to withdraw under fire.